Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I created this cool toned soft glam look. So me doing this type of look can take over an hour, but I showed you guys a way that I've learned to do my makeup to get it done a lot quicker. So before we get onto the tutorial for this look, I want to take a moment to mention the sponsor for today's video which is Lily Silk and this top that I'm wearing right now is of course from Lily Silk. Lily Silk uses mulberry silk to create all of their products, their garments, their pillowcases. I have one of them here. So I picked up the top and the pillowcase set in black. So there's one for me, one for Ricky. So what I love about the brand is that they actually offer a ton of colors. So I'm obsessed with the black pillowcases and of course the black top. I'm gonna give you guys a little close up. So as I mentioned to you guys, these are made from mulberry silk and mulberry silk does have a lot of benefits, which I'll let you guys know. When it comes to your skin, silk pillowcases help your skin retain moisture. And because of the silk, it helps your skin with breakouts. One thing that I did notice that literally blew my mind is my hair. So the silk in the pillowcases helps your hair with breakage. But what I found is that when I sleep with a normal pillowcase, my hair gets so messy through the night. But what I found with these silk pillowcases is that when you go to bed with a blow dry, you will wake up with a perfect blow dry. And I've never experienced that in my life. I am a very messy sleeper and I usually would wake up with one side up and one side here. Progressively over time using the Lily Silk silk pillowcases, it will also help with wrinkles and anti-aging because of how gentle it is on your face. Through the night, this this is so refreshing to sleep on because it stays nice and cool and it's just so soft. I'm going to show you guys this other kit in a second that has a different color. But I just wanted to mention that these little camisoles also come in a ton of colors and styles. I'm very much into the very sexy, sultry look. So I went for the spaghetti strap. But they also have thicker straps. They have long sleeves. They have all different types to suit your style. I also picked up this kit here, which is just the cutest thing ever. So this beautiful yellow pillowcase is for Ava. You can never start looking after your hair and skin young enough. So I'm saving this pillowcase for Ava's bed. I think the color is perfect for her. It's so beautiful and youthful. This is what I'm most excited about. I usually don't like these because I feel like they're very intense on the face, but this one is so soft. I know it may seem extreme to even use a silk eye mask, but think about how intrusive this is. This is literally laying on your face all night. So because of the mulberry silk and because it's so smooth, it's going to help with anti-aging. And of course the silk is going to avoid your eyelashes and eyebrows falling out. And then the last thing in the kit, which is honestly the greatest thing ever. So I'm going to pop it on for you guys quickly. I don't want to wreck my makeup, but that is what it looks like. It is so comfortable. It still has a relatively thick layer, but it is nice and breathable. Super beneficial for your skin if you're having to wear it all day at work. And it's cute. So I hope you enjoyed that little haul and learned something new about the benefits of silk. So thank you to Lily Silk for sponsoring this part of the video. I'm going to leave all of the products that I mentioned down below in the description box. And I also have a discount code for you guys. And now if you want to see how I created this look right here, then keep on watching. So just before sitting down to film, I popped on my skincare. So I thought I'd let you guys know that I used the Wishful Thirst Trap Juice Serum. I've been putting this on before my makeup and my skin just looks so much more hydrated after I put all of the powders on. Like it does make a big difference. And then I discovered this myself. This I kind of just found on my own and it is the La Roche-Posay Tolerain and it's like an eye contour serum. It said it on the box. So I only really use this before my makeup as my eye cream and it is meant to help wake up the eyes. So it literally contours the eyes. It reduces puffiness. So for today's video, I wanted it to be a full look in around 30 minutes. So I'm going to be honest when going out, my makeup is one extreme to the other. So if I'm going to dinner with Ricky and Ava, usually we go somewhere local and I literally just wear concealer, lip liner, gloss, and brush up my brows and that's it. But if me and Ricky are going out to dinner somewhere really nice, I like to get done up. But I tend to usually do my makeup in around 30 minutes. When you're married and when you're a parent, you need to get ready as quickly as possible. So I feel like I've kind of perfected a routine getting ready really quickly. So that's what I'm going to show you guys today, a 30 minute makeup routine, but still full glam. I'm going to start off on my brows. I purchased these a few months ago and I've been really loving them. I really like the color of this pomade and the way it goes on, but the brush just isn't good. So I'm just going to go in with my own brush.
So I usually just go in and fill my brows. I'm not too worried because I will go in with concealer and correct everything. I'm going to do this brow and I'll be right back. So before I go in and carve my brows, I'm going to add the gel. This is your typical brow gel, but I like it because I don't look as shiny, like they're more matte, which I don't mind, honestly. I love the Benefit brow gel, but this is just something different. I just carved this one out of camera and I'm gonna do this one for you guys. And then I just like to drag it up through the beginning of the brow just to give it a little bit of a softer look. So over time I've discovered that if I do my base first it is so much easier to do my eyes. So for me to know exactly what I want I just do my base first because no matter what look I'm doing I always keep the same satin finish base. So the point I'm getting at is that I think it's best to do your base first and bake and then go in with your eyes and it will be a lot quicker. So I'm going to go in and prime. I'm using the NYX Marshmallow Primer. I was recently sent the Glow Wish Multi Dew Skin Tint from Huda Beauty and I did not think that this would be a night out foundation because it is like a tinted moisturizer but because I love a satin finish I really don't ever touch matte foundations anymore. I feel like I always end up looking way too dry so I go for a more radiant foundation and by the time that I've added my powders, it kind of just creates a satin finish. But this, mixed with a pump of a full coverage foundation, is the most perfect finish. So I'm going to do that today. By the way, the shade that I'm using is number 05 medium. And then I'm going to go a pump of the Born This Way. And I'm actually just using the brush that the foundation comes. Oh, I forgot to do my color corrector. You guys know I can't do a look without my color corrector. With this foundation, I kid you not, a little bit goes such a long way. I just don't get it. I don't know what it is about this brush. Honestly, I didn't think I'd like it this much because it's different to anything that I've ever used. But I'm really loving the way that it puts my foundation on. It's just a really nice finish. It doesn't leave streaks. I want to go for a nice glowy contour, so I mix together the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand and the Benefit uh, liquid hauler. So I'm going to add all of my contour at once and then blend it all together with my concealer. I've also been using a new concealer. It's the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk in shade number four. It's a really natural concealer. So I'm going to drag that right down the sides of my nose and then bring it up to lift and I'm going to bring that right up to my temples to really give a nice lift. So the thing that I love most about this concealer is that it is very light. It's definitely more of a medium coverage, but this concealer is going to give you a lifting effect. It's very brightening. So what I'll do after this one is go in just with the areas that need a little bit more coverage and go in with a more full coverage concealer because this isn't going to give you the ultimate coverage, but the way it brightens is amazing. And then now to add the coverage, I'm just going to take a little bit of NARS Shoe Glow in Custard only on the inner corner. So now that I've got all of my contour and concealer on, I'm just going to blend it all together and go in with a sponge to even it out. So while I do the eyeshadow, I'm going to go in and bake to help set the under eyes and it stops your eyeshadow from messing your makeup.
wherever you're going if you want your makeup to really last you have to use this powder can't do a look without it I really hope this eyeshadow palette is still available. Back in the day, this was always my go-to. I used this on my bridal shower, on my wedding, before I had Laverna. This was literally the only palette that I used. By the way, it wasn't this exact one in case you think I'm using the exact same palette that I did four years ago. This is a new one, just the same palette. I'm dipping into the brown shade Saucy and what I'm going to do is I am going to use the card and just create a little bit of a wing because I don't want to do a liner so that's going to be my liner I hate to these other brands but I'm just going to say it like no eyeshadow literally works as good as Laverna and I'm not saying that to toot my own horn but I'm genuinely heartbroken that it's sold out and I can't use it on camera for you guys because Honestly, anyone that's used it knows it's the best. Like, this is patchy. But don't worry, guys. Towards the end of the year, I have some amazing launches coming, which I'm so excited about. I'm going to take this shade Freckle from my Natasha Denona Bieber palette just to clean that up because this is a bit patchy. I'm taking the black shade called Spot from the palette and I'm going to follow that along. Like that. If you want to be full glam and you don't want to spend 20 minutes messing around with one wing, this is the best tip that I could possibly give you to get that full glam look, but it takes one second. I'm dipping into the brown and I'm just going to pull that into the crease. So I'm not adding any more black, I'm just using what comes up from the wing. And we're creating a little bit of a cut crease. I'm going to take this shade Coco to define the crease. I'm going to take what's left over on the concealer brush just to give it a slight cut crease. I don't want a full one, but just a little something to open the lid. And then I'm going to pat this shade here onto the lid. And then I'm just adding a little bit of the white shadow to just blend this all down and give it a little bit more of a diffused look. I'm going to quickly finish the rest of this eye off camera and we'll be back to do the final touches. Okay, so I'm going to wipe away my banana powder, I mean my translucent powder, but what I like to do is take a bit of banana powder on the brush just to add a bit of colour back. I mean, it doesn't add much colour, but it just helps keep it nice and bright. I left that powder on longer than I typically would because I sat here with my heater on for like 15 minutes because it's so cold in this room. I wanted to keep my top showing. I didn't want to put a jumper over it. So I'm going to go in and add a little bit of setting spray to melt everything back together. And then I'm going to take the clean side of my sponge and just press it in. Before I add lashes and mascara, I'm going to give them a quick curl so everything blends together. This mascara is so good, the Benefit Their Real Magnet Mascara. I'm going to pop on some lashes and I'll be right back. Lashes. So I'm going to take a bit of that first light brown shade and run that under. Add a little bit of bottom mascara. For bronzer I'm going to add this one from Milani because I want a little bit more of a glowy bronzer today.
So I'm going to let you guys in on a little tip with blush if you don't know what blush color to choose because it can kind of be a little overwhelming. I personally think that if you are wearing more warm tones, so if you're wearing more orangey browns and golds and bronzes, I would recommend a more peachy blush. But if you're going with something a little more cool toned, you guys can see this is a little more cool toned. I would recommend a more pinky blush. Honestly, either way works, but I just feel like these go a little better together. By the way, this blush is from Marc Jacobs and it's called Kink and Kisses. And then the last step is highlight and this is the Medium Glow Obsessions by Huda Beauty. Yesterday I did this lip combo and I loved it so I'm going to do it again for you guys today because I've never done this lip combo on camera before so I'm going to go in with the Kevin Kwan lip liners in New Naked and Divine and I'm going to mix them together. So I'm going to go in with the darker one first and then blend it out with the lighter one. So anyone that is a regular viewer here knows that my lipstick from my brand 1993 is currently sold out and it's getting restocked. We're working on a really big restock because that particular shade is just the perfect nude for any look so it keeps getting sold out. But I've been dipping into my lipstick drawer and I discovered this nude one from KKW and it's a really pretty alternative. It's a peachy nude and I really like it. I don't know if this is a matte or a cream formula but it goes on really nicely. Can you guys see why I picked this lip combo for this look? I feel like I always go for the more browny nude lips, but for this eye look and this blush, I just feel like this more pinky cool tone lip goes perfectly. So this is today's look complete. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Once again, thank you so much to Lily Silk for sponsoring today's video and allowing me to showcase their amazing products to you guys. And I also have the discount code for you guys, which is also listed down below. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.